Our final bistro classic today is Beef Wellington. Traditionally, this is done with foie gras and duck salad. Duck salad is a, a mix made by cooking down mushrooms and herbs and garlic and onion to form a paste. But we're going to do a different version today and we're just going to use a, a, a spinach and garlic crumb instead of a duck salad. But I think it's nicer, cheaper and uh, it's definitely a lot simpler. So to get started, we're going to need 100 grams of spinach, one clove of garlic and 80 grams of breadcrumbs. Just start off by slicing your garlic and all of this is going to go into the food processor. So you don't have to be too careful when you're slicing these things up because it's all just going to get blitzed. So garlic in, breadcrumbs and your spinach finally. Now we just want to blitz this on high. It should take around uh, 20 to 30 seconds. I can see now that it's starting to clump up and it's got that great green colour, so uh, that means it's ready to go. Just take this out and put it in a dish. Now, what you want to look for with your, uh, your crumb mix here, you want it to be um, quite loose like this, but when you squeeze it, you want it to form into a pack like that. And uh, that means it's, it's moist enough. If it, if it doesn't form like that, it's too dry. So you can fix that by adding a bit more spinach or just a drop of water. So this looks ready to go, so I'm gonna grab out my meat. The cut I'm using today is a rump. Uh, I use rump for this because it's cheap for one and because it uh, com comes up really nicely in the oven. Some steaks are more suited for barbecuing or for um, you know, cooking in a pan on really high heat or that, but the, the rump roasts up quite well and uh, cooks perfectly in the time that the pastry cooks around it. So, we're just gonna trim this up now, take off the fat, and just try and um, square it up as much as possible. That looks pretty good there. If there's any bits of sinew or anything, don't be scared to take them off too. I'm just gonna give this a bit of a season, some pepper, and salt. And then I'm just gonna pop that in there for now. Give it a flip. But now that's in there, we can uh, move on to the next step, which is the pastry. So I'll grab that out, just a sheet of puff pastry. If you can buy the butter puff pastry, then that's even better. But uh, any puff pastry will generally do. So just trim up your puff pastry to just slightly larger than what your steak is. So I'm looking at this. and you want to take it off the other way as well. When you're um, trimming your puff pastry, you just want to make sure you've got enough puff pastry to seal the uh, steak in. You don't want to have too much or it'll go soggy, but you don't want to have too little because all the juices will just leak out of it, but we want them all to get soaked up from our breadcrumbs. So the first few times you make this dish, just be a bit more generous with the puff pastry because that's a better option than uh, not having enough. So take your steak, Get some extra uh, crumbs on there as well and just pat it down. These crumbs are really good in this dish because as the steak cooks, they absorb all of the liquid coming from the steak so you don't lose any flavour at all. So just start your fold, just like this. Bring it over to halfway. You don't need to stress or rush when you're doing this. Just take your time and make sure you get a nice, good quality seal. You want to make sure you're wrapping it really tightly as well. That's one of the other secrets. So tuck those breadcrumbs back on, bring it over. And now that we've done one complete circle, I'm just going to give it a bit of an egg wash. So just take your egg. This just helps to um, create a seal around it, again, just to keep the juices in. And it also gives it a really good colour when you bake it. But just on the edges that are going to be touching the next bit of puff. So pull that in nice and tight, flatten it down, 
and do our final roll. So you're basically going around at one and a half times. Take off your plastic. I've got a nice uh, spray tray there to cook this on. So now, with the ends, if it looks like you've got too much on there, just give them a trim first. Like that. And that side seems, oh, I'll take a little bit off. And now you just want to fold your fingers in like this, just to create a seal on the end. Flip it over onto your tray you're going to cook it on. And now it's seal the other side as well. Just making sure you pull it in nice and tight against your steak. And there we have it. Now, we're just going to give this an egg wash over the top. And this will give it a nice golden brown colour. I'm going to pop this in the oven at 180 degrees for around 12 to 14 minutes. So now that the pastry's golden brown, I'm going to pull it out and let it rest for two minutes. Just let it rest on your board, that's fine. We just want to make sure that all the juices go back into the steak. That's what we sort of talk about when we talk about resting. When we roast a, a big bit of meat like lamb, you need to uh, let it rest for a lot longer because it's such a big piece of meat when it comes to the juices spreading evenly through it again, of course it's going to take longer. So this is already, uh, I'd say, rested well enough now. So we can slice it open and serve it up. Beautiful medium Wellington there. And uh, it smells amazing. You can smell the spinach and everything cooked out in it. If you need any of the recipes from tonight, jump on the website and uh, while you're there, make sure you're sending in your kitchen dramas for me and then maybe pop over to Facebook and say hello too. But that's all we've got time for and I'll see you next week. Come from walking the field. <laughs> All right.